Fire ready? Yeah. Hit. Hey! Hey guys! Hello, hello! Today, me and Sandro are going to uh, make a review on uh, this uh, scope from Valiant. Yeah, yeah, we just uh, received received it, and uh, we're gonna open it, unbox it, and uh, have have some chats with them and yeah. see how it feels, and uh, yeah, give yeah. you our impressions. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, open. Yeah. Where is the line from? It's uh, from Czech Republic. Okay. Uh, and how do you? Yeah, you just uh, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. So here we have to the six by twenty four fifty, and the Link series. Yeah, links. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, it is their entry level uh, scope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. We have some. Yeah, yeah. Manual. Um, there's some actually some pretty good details about how it, uh, the places where it should be mounted and where it should not be mounted. Uh, the green and the red zones. That's actually quite interesting. Uh, yeah. If you can see. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and yes. also yeah, and also there's a thin yeah. cloth. Yeah, the soft cloth. Yeah, yeah, feels really nice. Great size. Cool. Let's uh, take a look at the beast. Should you? Uh... <laughs> yep. So, first of all, it's a thirty millimeters tube. It has it has some parallax on the left side and also the light, which is from uh, red light from one to eleven steps. Yeah, the parallax is also noted and it's starting already from fifteen yet, oh ten yards until two hundred. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah. Clicking in this one clicks in eight one eighth more clicks. Uh, no zero stop. It has a seven more revolutions. Likewise with the wind turret, also one eighth of more. S yeah, seven more revolution. Nice. Uh, it has the scope caps included. That is really really nice as well. Yeah, uh, you can feel it and you can see that. Uh, Good, uh, good quality plastic. Yeah, yeah. Show it. Uh, sure. sure. Yeah. Try to flip up. Yeah. The, it's not lockable turrets on this one. No, no. Or uh, is it? Try and pull it up. Uh, Oh well, yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this 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 is a scope for uh, approximately hundred and fifty euro. Whoa. Yeah. That's cheap. I, That's I, actually really cheap. Yeah, I I think so. I'm I'm anxious to uh, give it a go. At the range yeah. where we are, by the way, right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. should we wrap up for this now? Uh, and, uh, there are some a couple of details. I can see it's actually pretty cool. They have included a leaflet uh, that uh, it's about the reticle. It's a mill reticle, mill dot reticle, um, mill dot reticle, and uh, Moa clicks. Not the ideal solution, of course. 
uh, it would have been better if uh, it was the same uh, but it's here as you can maybe show it to that one it's really cool that you have uh, yeah the yeah. explanation and also I really like the manual here you can it's also provided which amount of torque you should use for both uh, rings and also the base rings base screws top screws yeah yeah it's uh, 1.8 newton meters from for the ring and uh, 3.4 newton meters for ring base screws well just the last thing it's uh, eye relief oh it's uh, actually pretty clear yeah yeah so a decent eye relief of what is it nine ten centimeters cool yeah yeah oh yeah yeah it's 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 pretty clear clear yeah yeah that's surprising and uh, right outside in denmark here it's a uh, usual gray day so no it's not particularly sunshine yeah i think we should mount them and uh, give it a go yeah cool all right thank you for now see you later bye bye Yeah. Hi guys. Hello, hello. So, it's been a couple of months uh, since we started using this one. Yes. Uh, shot it on different uh, rifles, different calibers, 22, 306, uh, 308. Yeah. Yeah, and after using it for three months, we realized the good things and the bad things, of yeah, course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, what are your first impressions and now after? You know, I, I, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, you know, I had a really good feeling about the scope when, once we uh, yeah. uh, opened it and uh, uh, mounted and shot and, and, and uh, actually I still do. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, for the price range, this scope is really, really good. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, completely agreed. Uh, I mean, for the for the price, uh, we looked at it in the price in England and uh, European Union, and so it's still around 150 euros. And yeah, which is yeah. amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. For that price point, it's probably the best scope we have seen. Yeah. Uh, and um, to summarize it, um, the optics are. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just amazed how much you get for 150 euros. Yeah. This is really, really, really good. For that price, I would buy it every single day. Um, the optics, the feeling here, 
Yeah, overall quality. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, really for you know 150 it's euros. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, there are many upsides, uh, and Elvin and I discussed well how should we rate it, and uh, we decided to give it uh, four out of five stars. Uh, Mainly because it's uh, it would have been achieved a perfect score if we had uh, mil and mil uh, mil radical and mil, more mil clicks, but right now it has more clicks and mil radical, and that's uh, yeah, that's not as good. Uh, if it either had more radical or more clicks and mil clicks and mil radical, it would have been perfect. Uh, besides that, the only other bad thing we found is that it doesn't have any zero stop. Um, so you're not always aware of where you are in the revelations and so. Yeah. But uh, to be honest, those are the only two things we yeah. were able to find. And I know for a fact that they are working on uh, on it on a version with zero stop. And uh, yeah, perhaps they will look into uh, the. Yeah, the, the radical, radical and, part, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but for sure they are there. The, the, the next generation will have zero stuff. Yeah, uh, I again, yeah. <laughs> not, not really nothing else, yeah, bad to say about the scope. I will, I would definitely recommend it. I think the only, only problem for the people living in Scandinavia that you cannot purchase it in Scandinavia and. and it's really sad, but you can do it in Germany, of course. Yeah, there was a German web shop and yeah. one in Czech Republic as well. And uh, yeah, I hope yeah. Uh, some dealers in, uh, in yeah the Norwegian or the Scandinavian countries will take it in uh, in their shop. But uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I oh. guess yeah, yeah. I guess that's a wrap up for this. I think uh, tune in to our channel and uh, we'll shortly. Uh, uh, get back with the uh, yep. uh, better, not I don't want to say, ex more expensive version of uh, Valiant Scopes. This was an entry level, and let's see the high end. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. See ya. Bye.